Today's day one. We put a bowl to bed this morning with five cows up in the aspen patch up there. He went to bed really early, so we didn't really get any good footage because we were so far away. It was too dark. But he looks like a good six point. We want to get a closer look. We're hunting for 350. So we got our work cut out for us, and we're just going to hike up this ridge, and we're just going to hang out and wait. And as long as we have that south wind, we'll be in good shape. We'll be set up on the north side of them. And that bull came out last night about uh, 7 o'clock, 7.30. It gets dark about 8.20. So we'll have some time to kill him if it comes down to that. We're headed up to a vantage point. We relocated here in central Wyoming. We're gonna get up high to a vantage point and have a 360 panoramic view to glass tonight. Never know what we're gonna run into. We're seeing deer and elk tracks. We're in this old burn. So we'll see something tonight. It's just a matter if we find the right bowl and then we'll have a plan for the morning. So up and up and up, about 750 feet up to the top.
He's taking his cows. He was 70 yards up there. Borderline. Too far. We waited. That's the way it goes. Pretty good for public land, but we're looking for something the next size up. Well, we relocated. Again. I'm trying to get away from people. It's a new country. We're going to check it tonight, tomorrow morning. See if we can find any good bulls. If we can't, tomorrow morning we'll get out of here and move on someplace else. But we're gonna head up to those cliffs up there above camp and kind of get a good vantage point, see what we can see. sign of rutting and headed right back into the timber and I'm sure they'll do it again tonight but there was just flat out a lot of elk in here so we're gonna move camp down the valley get down to the base of the, the mountain there where all these elk are and I think we're gonna have a fun evening hunt with only two days left in Dan's hunt hopes of finding a 350 class bull are starting to fade However, he is bound and determined to go home with a nice six-point public land bull to put an exclamation point to the end of an eight-day backcountry hunt in Wyoming's vast elk country. Well, our bulls are right down here. And we found our other herd from this morning up in the Aspens. They went in the timber, but we're gonna loop around, get upwind of them, and I fully expect them to feed out this way tonight. Oh, they're fighting, Tim, they're fighting.
shot. Just angling down hard. Oh, it's just money, Tim. He's not mega, but we've worked hard, haven't we? Yeah. You gotta catch a break sometime. <laughs> and we're, we're not gonna have any weather events for us to catch a break. So when you catch a break, you better take advantage of it. Yeah, he's, he's a little raggy, but he's a six by six, Tim. That's what I set out to kill. You know, we work hard for this stuff. This is general tag, public land hunting. We got three miles to the truck. Thanks for watching this week's episode. Remember, fair chase is the only way to hunt and take a trophy big game. We'll see you right here next week on Eastman's Hunting TV. There was nothing fair about this, Tim. They kicked their butt all week. <laughs>